When should I start? Go ahead. Oh, wonderful. Good evening, everyone. It's so nice to uh, have this opportunity to meet with whoever's online with us uh, to talk about um, the Counselor and CIT program at Arts Camp. Um, if you're interested in looking at these slides later on, there is a bit.ly there that you can copy and paste into your URL. And if you have a question, um, please, please feel free to use the uh, bit.ly uh, where it says ask a question. So we're really glad that you're here today. And we're hoping that we're gonna provide an opportunity to give you an overview of what the roles of CIT and counselor are, um, and to offer you an opportunity to ask some questions about the program and about camp and also to share the excitement that we have about uh, camp starting up again this year. So I'd like to quickly introduce the staff for today. You're going to be working with a lot of staff at Camp White Pine. Um, you'll be working with teachers, social workers, administrators, artists, throughout the uh, nurses throughout the entire week. However, as part of the leadership team, you're going to be communicating closely with the following people. So uh, my name is Felicia Palaktu. I'm the leadership program coordinator. Um, I'd like to introduce Sandra Gerson. Hi there. Also leadership program coordinator with me. Hi everyone. Can you reduce the screen? Oh, sorry. Do you, I'll do you want me to introduce myself at this point? That's great, yeah. Uh, my name is Brian Gerson. I'm one of the newly appointed co-directors for this year. I look forward to meeting everybody. Dave, did you want to introduce yourself? Oh, Dave, you're, mu you're muted. Classic. I'm Dave. <laughs> That'll be the last time I'm muted. I, I'm the program manager. Uh, many of you will have met me up at camp in previous years and looking forward to it. Take it away, whoever's next. <laughs> Jen, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, Jen, you're muted. <laughs> it's all good. I'm trying to do too many things. Trying to do too many things at once here. I, uh, hi, everyone. I'm Jen Giffen. I am a co-program manager with Dave, also Camp Unicorn. I run social media, and I'm sort of doing <laughs> the back end of this today. So I apologize for the the muting. But you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of buttons on my screen right now. Really excited for camp. I'm really excited to to meet all of you potential leaders. So. Um, ask your questions once we get to the end of this and, and throughout too, if you have any, make sure you fill out that form. You can see the ticker here along the bottom. The slide link is there along with ask us a question. You fill out that form and you'll be able to ask us questions and we'll pop them up either throughout or at the end of the presentation. And Bahar. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Bahar Taravati and I'm one of the co-directors of the Arts Camp this year. Very excited to be here and looking forward to meeting all of you. Together we are your leadership team. So just a few norms regarding today's meeting. It is live stream and recorded, so you will be able to go back and watch the video later on at your leisure. The chat is currently off so that we can get to everybody's questions. Again, if you have a question, please feel free to uh, type it in the bit.ly that's provided there. And once again, there's the bit.ly if you have any questions and we'll try to answer all your questions in a timely manner. All right, so why are we here? We had a great year last year and it occurred after a three-year hiatus. We're looking for uh, people like yourselves to help us continue to make it great. Um, maybe you have been to Arts Camp before, perhaps you love taking on a leadership role, at your school and beyond. You're motivated to uh, inspire others and to create a memorable um, experience for campers. No matter why you're here, we're glad that you're here and we're here to support you on your journey. These are very unique roles, the counselor and the CIT role, and you have a lot of people supporting you. Um, one of the things that we're hoping to do is to continue to reimagine Arts Camp while maintaining some of the traditions that we've been having for years. So Arts Camp is a eight day intensive art experience. Um, at camp, you're encouraged to discover yourself, to work with others, to problem solve, to risk, take risks, um, and to explore new creative talents. It, we're there to, it's an incredibly inclusive environment and we're there to help everyone grow and learn and connect. So I created a video um, a little while back regarding the CIT role. It's, the CIT and council role in 90 seconds or less, go. 
Welcome to CIT Leadership and Counselor Circle. One of the first fun activities you'll be engaging in with your leadership team is developing a cabin theme. You'll maintain this theme throughout the week. Be sure to dress up and encourage your campers to do so, and cheer for your cabin when you attend evening program every night. In addition to learning from their counselors, the CITs work together along with their program leaders to develop and implement an inclusive evening program. Every year our CITs generate really incredible activities for our cabins to bond and challenges that bring them together while having a lot of fun. Counselors also have their own group and they too organize an evening program for the camp. Since their evening tends to be the first evening program of Arts Camp, activities revolve around getting to know each other and introducing campers to the amazing culture of Arts Camp. Both CITs and counselors have their own specific groups that they attend every day. CITs tend to meet for half a day during a program and counselors will meet during a workshop. During this time, they are working on specific projects, working on group building, problem solving, building trust, while all the while exploring their own leadership styles and developing bonds that will last a lifetime. We are so excited to work with you this year. So there's a little a quick uh, rundown of what the role of CIT and counselors are. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. Whoop. Welcome to CIT I'm Leadership and Counselor Circle. And go to the next slide. Okay, so as mentioned before, um, counselors and CITs have their own groups um, that they that they work with. So if you are applying to the CIT program, you will be joining uh, Sandra and I in the morning, the AM program, where you will be learning about leadership styles, communication styles, um, conflict resolution. You will also be conducting um, and organizing as a group an evening program for the entire camp. So that's about 250 uh, campers that you're going to be organizing some fun activities for. Normally, those are bonding activities, so giving them challenges that they can work together to problem solve. The counselors uh, will be with us for about an hour during workshop every day. Um, and as we are ever changing in camp, we are, I think, changing the schedule and that the counselors are going to be doing icebreakers on the second day. So you will be working together to generate activities for the entire camp so that everyone can get to know each other. So both, pro both programs organize an evening program and they also have um, some time during the day every day in order to work on their leadership skills and also to talk about um, any challenges that might be coming up or any successes that are happening in their cabins and so on. So a quick... Uh, does that include us and my son? <laughs> yes. Um, so a quick, uh, I guess, display of where we're going. Um, Camp White Pine is an absolutely gorgeous facility on Lake Placid. Our space, specifically for counselors and CITs, are right there where you see the blue arrow. So the other side of that building is the main office. So we're right next to the main office. If you ever have any questions, you can just pop over, run over and speak to admin or our program, uh, our program managers um, regarding materials or anything that you need to run program. That building is central to camp. Right next to that building is our amazing dining hall. In this space, you will see a lot of uh, fun happening in terms of singing, rhymes, kids skipping around the room. Your job as a CIT and a counselor is to get the kids pumped up and get them involved. Have them want to get up on, on the the benches and sing songs, teach them what those songs are, and also to, to ensure that they are following the protocols around mealtime and bedtime and all other times. So here's a little sneak peek at some of the studio spaces and the outdoor sp spaces at camp. There's the dance studio on the upper left. There's the mini golf area, the gazebo where sometimes we have campfires. Um, the pottery studio is absolutely stunning. There's the beachfront where you don't go there unless you are have a, a band, but there is one night where we tend to sit there and um, there's like a performance. Um, and then Pioneer, uh, Pioneer Field where is, a, is another place that we tend to congregate. Pantages Theater, this is a large studio space where we will be having our performance nights. Um, and again, part of your role will be to make sure all the kids get there on time, come in together, sit together, um, cheer each other on, and, and, 
can ensure that they're following protocols in terms of how do we act when we're watching performances, et cetera. Okay. The camper cabins are quite beautiful. Um, it's, there should be about 12 campers, one CIT and one counselor generally per cabin, lots of space for everybody. And part of your job also is to make this space a safe space for your campers um, and to come up with bonding activities and group norms and make this place a really enjoyable place where your campers want to be and for yourself. Okay, here's a, a student washrooms. Camps right now are, are divided into hillside and lakeside. Uh, there should be, I believe, at least one of these per, per section. And there are campers throughout the, uh, sorry, washrooms throughout um, the camp as well when you're in your studio space. Okay. So camp is pretty amazing. Um, there are lots more pictures on, oh yes, that's right. There are gender neutral bathrooms of throughout camp as well. So camp is pretty amazing. Here are just a few photographs over the years of activities that we've done. Um, painting, dances on the beach. Um, there's some leadership activities there that I don't want to give away too much about, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a great experience for yourself and for your campers. So what kind of people are we looking for? We are looking for humans who are ready to commit for the full eight days. They are motivated to take on a leadership role and work well with others. People who are reliable. So um, there are there is some pre-camp work that you need to do, like making phone calls to your campers, and you're also going to need to attend several meetings. Um, we're looking for people who are enthusiastic about creating a positive and inclusive environment for their campers, um, people who are willing to, to try and learn new things, and ready to take on the responsibilities of leading a cabin. So ensuring that their the kids are meeting the safety protocols, motivating the campers, ensuring punctuality, nurturing their growth as an artist and as a human, um, and someone who is passionate about the arts. So there is a document there that has a little bit more detail. Uh, what are we looking for in an arts camp CIT or counselor? So if you would like to know more, please go ahead and access that document and read through it. Okay. So in addition to that, when we are talking about inclusion and equity, eligible candidates should be willing to engage in learning around the dismantling anti-black anti racism and indigenous education and equity. Um, together, we're working together to make that make camp and the board an inclusive, anti-oppressive uh, place that promotes equity amongst everybody. Okay. So lots of learning there. Okay. So some of the pre-camp uh, commitments that we are asking you to engage in is there is a training session, a lot of fun, a lot of learning through games on the 18th of April. There is family information night. This is an opportunity for you to meet the parents. Um, and this is where the parents will be coming in to learn more about camp and get some more details about what camp is all about. You're going to greet your campers. You're going to let the parents know that they're, the kids are going to have a great time and that they're uh, in a safe place. Um, and you're going to get the kids really excited. So how do we select our counselors? Our counselors are going to be grade 11 and 12 students. Uh, you might be a former YRDSB camper, or you might have leadership potential or experiences. Uh, you really want to uh, nurture and help others grow want to help the next generation of artists and leaders uh, develop their craft. Um, you should be ready and willing to look for, willing to work with 10 campers and also mentor your CIT because your CIT is there to learn how to be a leader. With our support, of course, we are always there to support you along the way. There will be staff all over the camp all, at all times. So if you cannot reach myself or Sandra, you can, you will have a staff member that is linked to your cabin. So if you have any concerns, you will have many adults with which you can speak with um, regarding concerns, okay? Um, and again, our selection is based on how many people are applying, um, candidate readiness, and we're gonna look at your resume, your interview, and your references in terms of, de I guess, determining your read readiness, okay? All right, for our CITs, we are looking for grade 10s and grade 11s. You may have been a former arts camper um, or a camper in another camp environment or a leader. Um, or maybe you just have an interest and you want to learn. What does it mean to be a leader? What does that look like? You should be willing to take uh, on some leadership tasks um, with direction and with support, of course. And uh, you should be willing to work with your counselor and with the staff in terms of developing your skills. Again, once our selection is based on the number of candidates and the readiness as demonstrated through your resume, your interview, and your references. 
Okay. Oh, and as mentioned before, um, all applicants will require two positive endorsements, one from your administrator and one from uh, a teacher in your school. Let's say you don't know your administrator. Well, this is a really great time to introduce yourself. <laughs> you can pop your head in and say, hi, um, my name is Lisa, and I have just applied to be a leader at Arts Camp. I'm hoping that um, you can provide a positive reference for me. Okay. So introduce yourself. All right, so why be a counselor or a CIT? And uh, this one was a really easy slide for me to put together. Most people that are here are probably nurturers. You are someone who um, helping other people is a part of who you are. So you get great satisfaction out of actually being a part of the artistic, social, and emotional growth of another human being. Um, in addition to the amazing camp experience, because you are also going to have a, an amazing experience in terms of developing your craft and skills, you get to spend part of the day with uh, peers in your age bracket. Camp is for students between grades seven and grade 12. All of the programs, except for counselor and CIT, are for all grades. So counselors are predominantly 16 to 18 year olds, and CITs are predominantly 15 and 16 year olds. So you get to spend some time with kids in your own sort of age bracket um, for part of the day. You also get a reduced camp fee, um, and you get free transportation. So all CITs and counselors are expected to ride the bus and back, and for that reason, we're not asking you to pay for it. Uh, so I believe the, well, there's a reduced rate. I don't want to quote, but I'm pretty sure it's $750 for the CITs and $650 for counselors, but don't quote me on that. Um, we also occasionally have lights out activities for uh, the counselors and the CITs to unwind. At no point will your cabin ever be um, unsupervised at night. One of you will be in there, but sometimes we will be, um, thank you, Jen, for letting me know that that was correct. Um, but um, we'll have like a campfire or some other evening activities for you to help you unwind because we understand that it's a big responsibility um, and you might need some time to, to relax a little bit. You also get some pretty unique leadership training. So you're gonna learn your theory through a lot of game playing um, and outdoor activities. So it's a fun way to learn. You could potentially get references for scholarships or employment um, and you can use your experience at camp and many people, most of us have been asked at some point for a reference for students going into post-secondary programs that require a reference. So you have the opportunity for that. And um, for your pre-camp work, there is a potential for some community service hours. So all the work that you do get reduced, right? But we understand that there is a little bit of work that you have to do prior to camp, making camper phone calls, making your signs, coming up with a cabin theme, com communicating with us. And so you'll get some time for that. All right, so logistics regarding your, uh, your applications, you need to uh, use your GAPS account and you will receive a confirmation email from that website when you submit your application. If you don't receive it, do not complete the another, another application. Please email the Arts Camp at YRDSB um, address and they'll trouble, troubleshoot from there. All right, so some tips for applying. Um, review the what you need to know document on there. It's the same document that has the roles of the counselor and the CIT. There are some other things that you might want to know about camp in terms of how it runs, what the expectations are. So please go through that document before you apply and, and take a look. Um, preview the PDF of the CIT application form. The reason we're, we're suggesting you do that is because if you fill out the application form directly, it might time out and you might, uh, you might lose some of your information. So um, complete your work in a separate, some of them, the application requires some short answers. Maybe do those short answers on another document before you do the application so that you don't time out. Apply using the CIT counselor application online. And then after you've done that, apply, uh, complete the camper application. This is really important. We sometimes get counselors or CITs that forget to do both. In order to come to camp, you must do both applications. It benefits you for two reasons. Number one, if for whatever reason you don't receive um, an acceptance for the counselor or CIT application, then you're still in the lottery for the camper application. And second of all, if you do, um, receive a position as a counselor or a CIT, the camper application has other information that we need from you. So different information for the two applications. All right, so the applications, there we go, wonderful, thank you. The applications are due this Friday um, by midnight and there will be, we close it at that point. So please, please ensure that you get everything in on time um, because we really wanna see your applications in. And what do you need to include? You need to include the online application form, a current resume um, and two references, which there is a form where you're supposed to provide your administrator's um, email. Please make sure you're getting the right email. 
um, double check it. You can usually check it with your school's website in terms of what the proper email is for your teachers and your administrator that you're asking for a reference. Um, in terms of your resume, things to highlight, you can highlight any kind of leadership experience that you have, your experiences at school, um, any kind of helping uh, jobs or experiences that you've had, um, any where you're showing initiative, or independence. Yeah, we just want to get to know who you are. All right, so what happens next? March 23rd and 24th, you will get a re an email detailing how to sign up for the interviews. The interviews are on March 26th and 27th, so please save the date. Um, and then you will find out, um, if you don't receive anything by the 25th, please email that arts, artscamp at yrdsb.ca, I think it's arts.camp at yrdsb.ca, um, so that uh, we make sure that you're, you're getting the email. And then the offers will be made on the week of April 1st. So really, really quick turnaround. So at this point, I think we're almost ready for questions. So please direct your questions to the bit.ly on your screen. Um, and then after the session, the question form will close. And if you have any additional questions, you can email us. All right, so do we have questions? Yeah, we, yeah. we sure do. Abby actually asked this one. Is there anything that she should do to prepare herself for when it comes to interviews? I think if you, I think the application provides you with some uh, preparation. So there's some questions in the application that once you start thinking about those questions, those will get you ready for the interview. You will also receive, I believe there, you will receive a question in advance um, for one of the interview questions. Be able to talk about your experiences, be able to talk about um, why you wanna to come to camp. Um, does anyone else have any other ideas regarding what might benefit them in terms of prep preparing for the interview. I always found, oh, sorry, one last thing. I always found practicing with somebody else um, mm -hmm. very, very helpful uh, because you can practice your answers and then you're feeling a little bit more prepared. Yeah, it's also anybody really else? good uh, to have maybe some examples of things you've done in the past with uh, either in a camp setting or working with uh, younger uh, students or even younger family members. Uh, I know a lot of people work with younger siblings uh, and, and just talking about how you've handled that um, and also your interests, like what uh, we love to hear, what art you are uh, interested in, what is your specialty, uh, because that gives us a good idea of, of the types of people we're bringing in. Yeah. I really like the idea of examples. If you're telling us you're responsible, tell us how. We have another question here that asks, is the camper application mandatory even if you aren't able to attend as a camper? Does anyone want to answer that? Or, or If you want the opportunity to come as a camper at all or as a CIT, then you need to complete the camper application. If you think that I'm either coming in as a counselor or a CIT or none at all, then no, you don't, you don't have to complete the camper application. That's what I'd yeah, no, correct in that. Yeah, if someone, yeah, correct. If, if someone wants to come in just as a counselor or a CAT and they're like, nope, this, I want the leadership opportunity. Um, we understand that you're secondary school students. Some of you, a lot of you senior students. Um, it's a, it's crunch time. I know this is a high school teacher uh, and as does Felice. It's crunch time for you. So if you're like, no, I want this as an opportunity to help enhance my CV. Maybe you're in grade 11 and looking to get things um on that resume for when you're doing supplementary applications for post-secondary which this does look really great by the way um you may not want to come just as a camper and enjoy it and that's totally fine and we respect that we just do encourage you in case you're not so you, if you want to experience camp and you're not selected as a counselor or cit then we would hate for you to miss that opportunity so if you do want to do it make sure that you are uh, you're signed up for both and i i'm i'm going to take the guidance counselor side here i it doesn't hurt you to put the application in, right? You could always, if you decide, if you miss the deadline, um, you're not in the lottery at all. But if you complete the application, you could always later on say, sorry, I can't, I can't attend for whatever reason before you have to make payment. You know, I, I was just thinking of one other thing that uh, people can think about in preparing for their interview, which might also be um, encouraging ways you handle stress. Um, being able to talk about that. Um, camp is a camp is a busy, busy place where there's often not a lot of sleep. 
Um, it might be interacting with, with other people who have not a lot of sleep. Um, and so there might be uh, tensions and emotions and, and all kinds of things like that. And as a leader, um, one of your jobs might be able to, might require you to, to use some of those skills to manage some of those stressful moments at times. That may potentially be an interview type question as well. You know, how are you going to manage your stress as well as, you know, your, your campers? We have something else here asking, uh, do we pick our counselor or CAT partner? No, we, we usually, we, we pick your, your CIT based on the specific needs of the cabin. So in terms of we look at your strengths and your CIT strengths um, and whatever the cabin needs may be. Um, I think a lot of the times, I don't, I don't even think we've ever had a request for that to be perfectly honest. Most of the time the, the leaders are eager to just meet somebody new. I mean, I guess you could put in a, is, a request and we can see from there, but. Yeah. Uh, the next question asks, what is the format of interviews and how long are they? Okay, so we're, we're in the process of sort of hammering that out right now. However, in the past, the, there was you'll be interviewed by two people. One person will mm -hmm. be taking notes while the other one is asking the questions. And the reason we're taking the notes is so that later on, sometimes, you know, we're really engaged in the interview and we might forget something that was said. So we'll go back um, and so that we can review all the wonderful things that you said during the interview. It's usually um, a question that you've had some time to prepare and then two or three other questions related to um, your experiences, maybe stress management, maybe something about, uh, you know, give me an, a, an example of a time where you problem solved, et cetera. Um, and then, yeah, it's probably about five minutes, 10 minutes. They're not very long. Yeah, I think we, we have right now scheduled for 10 minute interviews okay. with two people. So you wanna be really succinct with your answers, I would say, like get to the point, don't meander. And say, oh, I think so having, having that prep, either doing the um, practice with, with someone you know a, a friend or someone in your household um and coming up with examples that you can come up with really quickly they are done virtually i, I think we mentioned that so you you'll have an opportunity like you could have another screen with some of your examples sitting there or notes with you that's totally fine come in prepared um like that don't read off a script obviously because you know that doesn't come across as, as natural speak from your heart but that is something that uh, could be really beneficial and like i said about 10 minutes uh, we tend to grade them 10 minutes or uh, your resume is about 50 percent of the application and then your uh, interview is about 50 percent as well right now the, the questions are pretty quiet okay <laughs> but there is there is about a 20 second delay so we'll give some people That's some okay. time does anyone have anything else that they want to say maybe about camp that might be of interest um i will say that this um, this video will be available for you after the sessions at the link that you see there at the bottom, bit.ly forward slash artscamp2024 CCIT info session. It's really long, I know. Um, we're going to send it out to a bunch of the high schools as well, and hopefully they can share it uh, with people. If you know people who are maybe interested, you're more than welcome to uh, have them watch this and see like, oh, is this, is this something I want to do? Because it's it's hard if you've, especially if you've never been to arts camp to know what it's about. And hopefully um, Fleets here has given you a good little sample of the excitement that we have in store for you at arts camp 2024. Yeah, I can share that last year, most of our CITs either had never been to camp or they went when they were grade seven. So it was a completely new experience for them, but they told me they, well, you know what, go on the Instagram and take a look at the pictures. They had an amazing time and they had a lot of support. So we don't want you to be um, nervous about coming up as a leader because you will have so much support there. Um, we're looking for people who want to learn, who want to be engaged and who are okay with asking questions and accessing their mentors. And in the interview, we want to get to know who you are. Um, Brian had something that he mentioned about, uh, about that as well. If you want to just elaborate Brian on that with the, uh, the interviews. Let's say it's been covered by someone else. It's been covered by, by someone else. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, you guys, these two, I, gonna gonna, I thought Brian was going to sing like a, a example of a song that we sometimes would 
with sing up there. You've got so many, so much camp experience. I, I am such a great, a little... I am I am such a great singer, but I'm gonna have to leave it to uh, the okay. first dining hall meal to um, to really test my yeah. test my ability. <laughs> I want to know what the echoes like in the dining hall and things like that. We'll be we'll be waiting. I can't wait. Amazing. We had an, we had another question pop up here, but when, when would we expect to an acceptance letter for the C or CIT positions? Does anybody know that? Yeah, that's I, I think that's a hard one. Our timelines right now are pretty malleable. Yeah. Um, with things coming in on Friday for campers, uh, we're hoping to conduct the lottery this weekend. So you might uh, maybe we need to say this: you could be accepted as a camper even before you find out you have an interview or your interview for CCIT. And that's that's fine because we waitlist people who we can't take into camp. And then if you make it as counselor or CIT, then we give that position to some your your camper position to someone on the waitlist. Um, after the interviews, we're hoping to have them out shortly after the the long weekend, the Easter uh, long weekend, which is the week of April the first. It could be before that, but I would say look to that sort of Tuesday Wednesday to give us some time to really like dig in. We want to make sure that we make um, really really good choices to support the needs of the campers that we have coming to us to really um, maximize their experience and the fun that they'll have at camp. Mm -hmm. Okay, that seems to be it. Does anyone have any final thoughts before we, we log off for, uh, for tonight? I'm just super excited to work with another group of, of leaders. I can I can say um, with a lot of confidence that a lot of the counselors in CIT said that sometimes that session is their favorite one because of the um, because of what they get out of helping another human being, right? And and running a cabin and watching their campers bond. So um, it is a pretty amazing experience. You're gonna have a lot of, of support. Um, it's kind of a neat idea to be able to develop your leadership skills as well as your artistic skills in one place. Absolutely. And Anyone if else you're not sure, to... apply. Even if you're not yeah. sure, just apply. That's that's what I'm right. Apply and then you can make a decision later on. Yeah, I would agree. There's more things in your life you're gonna regret not doing than things you are gonna regret doing, right? We we say that our the wisdom of the years on the screen can probably all attest to that. All right, so with that, no more questions. I think we can sign off. Bahar or Brian, as directors, do you have anything, any closing comments you want to do before we, we end our stream here today? We are very excited to just, you know, for the first time coming to come to Arts Camp. So very, very excited to meet everybody. I'll echo that. We're uh, we're super excited and can't wait to meet everybody. Okay, and with that, we thank you all for joining. For those of you who are watching live and um, observing Ramadan, we'll give you plenty of time now for you to get ready for your iftar uh, to break your fast. And for the rest of you, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at any time. You can reach us at arts.camp at yrdsb.ca and I'm going to put that up here on the screen so that you have it. There you go, arts.camp at yrdsb.ca with any questions that you have. And until then, we hope that we see your application. Take care, everyone. Good night. Bye.